introducing my newest listing in the northwest part of Las Vegas. Let's roll. everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and today I'm heading over to get some photos of my newest listing here in the northwest part of the valley at 10140 Aussie Cat Avenue I think <laughs> I got Lori next to me Hi. so um, it's gated community a choice $65 so I just wanted to showcase what the community looks like as you're entering into it I'm not going to give you the gate code though so <laughs> and the nice thing about this community is it's super close to sky canyon and it's in between actually sky canyon and providence and you're close to the knickerbocker park and then there's another park super close by easy access to the 215 the 95 super great location so i think it's important to know what Sorry, gotta make sure this is recording. You know me, I have problems. I think it's super important to see what the neighborhood looks like when you're buying into a new home, especially if you're out of state and don't know much about Las Vegas and the neighborhoods. All right, guys, we're gonna get out. I'm gonna do some video so you can see this beautiful, highly upgraded home here in the Northwest. Oh, it's up more. <laughs> see you on the flip side. Hey there. So I'm here at my listing. We are going live today over here in the Northwest part of the valley off of Hualapai and Farm in between Providence and Sky Canyon. Easy access to the 215 and 95. This home is in a gated community and the address is 10140 Ossicott Avenue. This home has four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms or three bathrooms. There's a half bath downstairs, two car garage and approximately around 2239 square feet. So we're gonna take a tour of this beautiful home and then also go by and look at the parks that are nearby because I feel that not only does the home sell help sell the house but the neighborhood so as you walk in you have this beautiful little entry den area that has the nice wide plank wood like tile flooring at a diagonal and then you have a cute little closet right here we'll go upstairs in a minute and then this beautiful half bath with the nice custom countertops, quartz, custom cabinet. Looks a little dark just because of the darker color paint. And then this awesome little storage area underneath the stairs. And here's the family room with a nice large ceiling fan. If you have a dog, you have a doggy door already, and then set up for your TV. This home has two Nest thermostats and a Nest doorbell. Here's the beautiful dining room with French doors that leads into the backyard. But look at this kitchen. It is absolutely amazing. You have this beautiful two-tone color cabinets. I'm just gonna put my sheet down right here. The nice light wood with, I don't know if this is actually quartz. It's a very unique countertop. I do believe it's quartz or it could be some type of marble. There's so many new kinds of countertops out there. It's hard to keep track of what they are. But then you have the nice white shaker cabinets with the light brown wood shaker cabinets for the island. This island is beautiful. Then you have a KitchenAid Sub-Zero refrigerator, a Bosch vent hood, I do believe the stove is KitchenAid. It's a very nice stove. And then you have um, a Bosch washer, dishwasher. Look at the sink, huge. And this is a neat feature too. 
the custom tile backsplash. Beautiful. And then a nice custom pantry with the built-in microwave in the pantry, which is nice because then the pantry or then the microwave does not take up any space. So a lot of features to this island as well. All appliances are included, including this washer and dryer by Samsung. Here's the laundry room. And then we'll just take a quick peek in the garage because everyone wants to see what the garage looks like. They have a lot of leftover material from the flooring upstairs and downstairs and some cabinets, but it's a typical garage with some storage space. It does have a tankless water heater and a water filtration system. These floors look like they're epoxy, you know, just need to be washed dead down and they would look pretty good. Then we'll go take a tour of the backyard. I like this. You can make this your coffee bar or whatever you want. Love the beautiful French doors. This yard has a nice backyard with turf, fake grass pavers throughout, easy to maintain landscaping. They took out all the plants, but they do have the drip system that is operational. So if you do want to plant your own plants in the future, you can. This little swing comes with the house. one of the side gates and a little access for your doggy door an additional gate I do believe that the AC is brand new or newer from 2018 so that's always good to have a newer HVAC unit and then the little shed area if you ever need to lawn maintenance I guess the AC units must be on the other side of that wall need to investigate to show you guys because I know they're not on top of the roofs. Huh. Must be on the other side of the other wall. Anyways, we're going to go upstairs and then take a peek of the outside and sides of the house. I'd say this is like a greenish, grayish color. The nice feature about this home upstairs is the oversized spacious loft. Look how big this loft is. And this unit comes with the house. All these lights are LED lights. This is an LED light. You can put your ceiling fan. It is wired for a ceiling fan. My clients just took out all the ceiling fans. Love this unit. So you have four bedrooms up here. The primary is right there. Bedroom right there. And then two bedrooms right here. So we'll go check out the primary first. Another nice feature about this home, not a single carpet. This is um, a nice higher grade laminate flooring. Good size primary bedroom. And again, it is pre-wired for a ceiling fan, just FYI. Then a separate shower and tub with double sinks. And a semi-custom primary closet. Even more storage back here. Uh, 
Oof, right. Then we'll go to this bedroom. They all seem to be good size. I haven't measured them just yet. That's what I'm here today is to get ready, measure everything. So, you know, by the time you watch this video, it'll be on the market. But all the bedrooms are really good size. Then you have the secondary guest bathroom down here with the double sinks, nice tile. This is a cultured marble with a nice tub insert here. Here's the other bedroom. All good sized bedrooms. And if you need LED lights, it already is set up. <laughs> this one has the fan, so that's nice. I just realized that. And then here's the last fourth bedroom. Does come with blinds. They're just up all the way. A lot of people like to look at the neighbors. See how everyone fares. It looks like this is a very family friendly neighborhood. But for the price at 470 in the Northwest, 2,200 square feet, four bedrooms, this is a great deal. This won't last long. I will, prob I will probably sell it over the weekend. But we're gonna go take a look at the side to see if I can find the AC units. I think it's important to look at those and assess those as well. Let's go back outside. The nice thing about this door is there's no lock. It's all keyless entry. There it is. Yep, it's a newer unit with your electrical panel. That's a big unit. Okay, folks, if you're interested in buying this house and want to take a tour of it, give me a call at 702-370-5112. I will be hosting an open house, or one of my agents will be hosting an open house this weekend, which would be, what is this weekend dates? Lori? I'm going to have Lori, uh, who's 29th here. And 20, uh, 29th and 30th. Okay. So I'll have an agent here hosting an open house this Saturday and Sunday, January 29th and 30th from 11 to 3. Yep. If you want to come check it out, come by and say hi to Brian, my one of my agents. Let me know in the comments what you think of this house. It won't last long. Have a good one, folks. And we're going to go tour the neighborhood after this. So we just left my listing and we're over here at the Gilcrease Brothers Park, which is only, it only took us like a minute to get here, 2.2 miles away, super close, beautiful park. And you're also close to the Huckleberry Park in Providence and then the Sky Canyon Community Park. However, on that one, you don't have access to the Sky Canyon Community Park. That one is gated. This is a nice park. Looks like they have bathrooms. I don't think they have um, any tennis, but they have like a huge field, right? So this is what you get over here in the Northwest. One of my favorite parts of Las Vegas. Do me a favor, make sure you hit like and subscribe. And Lori and I will see you guys on the flip side. Have a good one, folks.